Now, using the universal order of notes, we can find where the other chords uh, are on the neck of the guitar. Uh, since all chords are movable, and I've said that before, we can move them up and down the neck to find where the other chords are. So let's take uh, an A minor chord, and we're going to finger it with these three fingers and leave out the index finger because that's going to do our barring, right? So here we are at A minor. If you move the whole chord up one fret and then bar like that, now it's a B flat minor or A sharp minor. One more fret is B minor. And one more fret after that is C minor. Uh, first question that I asked myself when I was uh, looking at instructional books is how come they don't show like the C minor chord in an open position? Well, for one thing, uh, to play a C minor chord, and the way this minor chord gets uh, constructed is you take the third note of your scale and flat it like that, and that's, that uh, determines the minor sound. So I have a 1, 3, 5 maybe in a minor sound there. But the next string is an open B, which sounds terrible as far as C chord is concerned. So you have to raise that up to make that a C. Now that fingering is really difficult to do that. Uh, even like that, you're kind of like, then you can't use the open E string. So they, they don't even show you that chord uh, in your instructional books. But the better way to play it, the better sounding one, is to actually take that A minor chord and come up one, two, three frets, play there, and then you get your C minor chord. So that's the advantage of knowing how to move chords up and down the fretboard is just there's chords you can't play any other way, you know? Anyway, that's how you find chords using the uh, universal order of notes. A7, A sharp 7, B7. So I actually took the A7 chord and moved that around. Here's your E7 chord. To find an F sharp 7, Here's F7, one fret higher, and one fret higher than F is F sharp, so there's your F sharp 7 chord. There you have it.